this video is going to describe how to use the FFT on the oscilloscope. So first of all, here is a signal that we have on the oscilloscope in the time domain. It has a peak-to-peak -peak value of about 2 volts, so this means it is a signal with an amplitude, a sine wave with an amplitude of 1 volt. Um, so what we're going to do is we want to do the FFT, so we're going to come over here and click Math. We're going to do the operator right here and you change this and we want to put it on FFT and then you push the button to select it. Here is the source. We're set on source 1. That's good. Go more FFT. We want to make sure that this is set on volts RMS, not decibels. And if you hit the auto set, it takes it to the full frequency band. So now we're going to click math to go back. And what we see here is, is that this has a total span of 15 megahertz. So this purple line right here is my FFT signal. And this is a total band, again, of the 15 megahertz. So as I zoom out, you're getting more frequency oscillations. The more oscillations you get, the better resolution it has on determining the frequency. So you can see when I zoomed out, this total span is decreasing. Right here, it says what the FFT resolution is. And so each point corresponds to an average of 23 hertz. So we want to zoom out. We want this span to be about 50 kilohertz or less. Here's 50 kilohertz. And then this gives us a resolution of about just under one hertz for the signal. And you can kind of see here is our purple signal. So with this this time wave signal, we want if we want to get a good resolution. So if it's too big, it ends up clipping, and then that is a problem. If it's too small, I don't have enough bits across there. So I want to fill up the screen without clipping as much as I can. So now I can come in here. I have a one kilohertz signal, so I'm going to change this span and zoom in to five kilohertz with a center of 2.5 kilohertz and there's our signal now now that I have my time signal I can actually hit this and turn it off sit so there is my signal and so I can come in with the cursors and I can start by looking at it along the x-axis and you see oh this is about the one kilohertz so that is my signal that I put in we put in a measurement so you see it has a peak of about 0.7 volts. So our sine wave looks like this. Okay, and so this amplitude from here to here is my peak to peak signal. So if I take from here to here, this is my peak signal. So my voltage peak is equal to V peak to peak over 2. And then when I do RMS, so VRMS is going to be equal to my V peak divided by the square root of 2, which is equal to the V peak to peak over 2 square root of 2. So if I want to go to V peak to peak, V peak to peak is going to be equal to VRMS times 2 square root of 2. And if we zoom out on my signal, um, you see we're changing this FFT resolution. And you see when I do that, that this band gets wider because we're getting less resolution. So in order to get a good resolution, so now what we want to do is we want to show kind of the power of this FFT. Because right here I can just measure the amplitude, but now I have a voltage divider, so I'm going to be dividing my signal down. And so now it's a lot smaller. If I zoom in, if I do this run stop, you can, you can see the sine wave there. But so we're going to make this even smaller, and we're going to be dropping this input down. And so now, if I do run stop, it's kind of like, ah, oh, do I see a wave there? It's more noise than it is signal. I'm going to zoom out until that's about 50 kilohertz. You know, and we get this resolution of about one hertz. And then I turn this signal off, and then there is my signal right there. I'm going to zoom in again. OK, 
Okay, and there is my signal. Now over here on these, this one right here is, this is my amplitude. So you can see if I get a bigger amplitude, I'm changing the amplitude of that signal. And then this one right here is moving my time up and down. If my thing was like all the way off and I don't see anything, if you just push it, it puts it right in the center. And then I can just move it down to where I want. And now we can see this big signal and you see I'm at like point seven millivolts, six, about 700 microvolts, 0.7 millivolts. And you can see I can very easily measure the amplitude of my signal. And so that shows you the power of the FFT signal on the oscilloscope.